Hey guys, good morning. This is an old Franklin shaving barbershop mug. A nice big mug for loading your brush with the soap. And I don't have this brand of soap in it. Instead, I've got an upside down puck of Cyril Salter. It's a lavender scent. It's their hard puck. And the blade we'll be using today is Astra Platinum. I've used this blade recently. Um, you see the G there. That's for the Gibbs razor. And that's what I'll be using today, my little Gibbs. And it has to be modified notches cut out at the end of the blade to, uh, to fit this old razor. It's set at the mildest setting, number one. And then we have this cool barber pole colored brush. What I think is extra cool about it is the shape. I've been eyeing this on AliExpress. It's not very much if you want to get the synthetic, like 15 bucks or something. And so it may be the most ergonomic handle for such a low price. I actually considered getting the synthetic and just yanking the knot out, replacing it with a good knot. Um, now, some people love synthetics. I just don't. So that's why I say it's not a good knot. It's not one for a good one for me. I did do a practice lather with this knot. This is the uh, two band finest badger from uh, Yaki, Y-A-Q-I. And uh, they do provide some of the OEM knots for a lot of the uh, companies out there. But um, this one was a little prickly. I'm doing my kind of test lather. We'll see if it softens up. All right. Now, I did, as you could, could see earlier, I did put some water in the uh, uh, in this soap, too, because it is a triple milled soap. It's hard. Uh, I got this off Connaught Shaving, and uh, it's a website for UK uh, supplies and um, or European type shaving items. Uh, I like Maggard razors for my US stuff, but uh, the other day I was br browsing around Connaught and I, uh, I saw Salter. I've heard about it on forums. Definitely some people like it. And then I saw it was just a few bucks. And so I said, hey, why not order a puck? It's probably gonna last me 10 years, but I figured let's try it. So I've had it soaking for several minutes. Um, here are some of the details here 100 gram puck so uh, you don't have to soak your hard pucks um, but uh, I do it just saves on loading time and if you've got uh, hard pucks are the only thing only things I do soak if it's a crope or uh, cream or anything like that. I definitely, I don't bloom it or anything. Sometimes blooming it can uh, take away some of the soap's properties and mess it up a little bit. So there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that show blooming, like while you shower or something like that. I think that's too long in general. Um, I might, if I do bloom, I might bloom Icarus from Declaration Grooming because the manufacturer said uh, Scott said we, we, we should or we could if we wanted to and some people have really enjoyed the benefits there a, a change in the way it lathers up All right, let me throw some water on my face A little longer of a shave uh, of uh, growth today about a day and a half all right, let's load this guy up. Why don't we load for like 40 seconds because this is an unknown. I've kind of got two unknowns going on, the brush and the soap. It just fit in there just right, so it might spin a little bit. If I do see some spinning, um, let's see, about 30 seconds. If I do see some spinning, I might uh, load for a little bit longer. So it's an inexpensive triple milled soap with just a gentle la lavender scent. Uh, some places said there was like an herby uh, quality to it as well. We'll see. It does seem to be uh, foaming up pretty easily. 
we'll see if it's a I don't think we're going to get like a, a high performance lather or anything like that from this but I think we'll what I'm guessing is we'll get a reasonable lather for a triple milled soap that's going to last you a nice long time let's just you know just to be on the safe side let's do another 10 seconds so 50 second 50 second load I think there we go looks reasonable the lather looks maybe a little airy with those tiny tiny micro bubbles so let's just see what happens yeah just a, a pleasant lavender scent coming up from the not very strong not not flowery so who might enjoy this soap? I think this company might have been around for a little while. And so there may be some tradition or nostalgia associated with it. Somebody who really likes uh, the hard soaps. By the time you pay, I don't know, Connaught shipping is actually pretty cheap. But I'm thinking if you're a budget person, you're probably better off getting some uh, some Williams or some Arco. But I measured my use of Sterling soap and it's going to last me a year. So Sterling at, 30, at $13 a tub for 6 ounces approximately. Um, is a pretty budget soap, but you know, really. I just put 2 teaspoons in. And I like the handle already. Nice ergonomic. It was tricky as I was looking at it on the internet because they, uh, AliExpress or Yaki or whoever had photographed it on a white background and obviously it's it's white and so it was actually kind of hard to discern the shape, the exact shape. some family going on. Now, so this is a finest badger, two band, meaning it's not a silver tip, it's not a three band, uh, which are often softer less backbone sometimes the two bands have really soft tips because they've been treated like with bleach or something like that uh, they usually have a little bit more backbone sometimes that's nice because they uh, keep those nice soft tips on your face but if it's a little too much backbone for me and it's going to shove my face around then i'm not going to like that you know quite as much see how our lather's looking Look at that guy holding his own weight right there. It's definitely dry. We'll see if this uh, soap likes it. Oh, now that's got some slickness to it. That is nice. Wow. This is a tallow soap. I'm happy about that. Nice, nice, nice. 
go ahead and we've got three and a half teaspoons in it now. Now that I felt that slickness, I don't feel like I'm over. I'm going to overwater it. It looked, it, it was just, uh, it was supporting its own weight really easy. Not drippy at all. So I wanted to go ahead and add more water to that. Oh yeah, there you go. So I think a 50 second load today. in this handle so if this head if this uh, knot turns out to be a little too aggressive and too stiff for me I know I've got a good handle and I bought this one I bought this one that 1111 sale that AliExpress had in November the 11th and it finally got here yesterday um, Yesterday was like the, well, I can't, just can't see my date on my watch. I think it's like, I think it's about the 14th of December, uh, 15th of December, something like that. So it took a little over a month to get here. Some of the other stuff got here a couple weeks before that. But I've still got a little bit more of that order that hasn't come in yet. four and a half teaspoons. This is what we have in there. Uh, with this finest badger, it's also possible that um, I'll need to give it a few uses before I realize, before I, there is a little bit of a break-in period. Um, how the knots just change just a little bit, get a little bit softer. Badgers, it's, it's, sometimes it's instant, sometimes it's a couple of weeks, and then you're good. With boar brushes, it's a lot longer. All right, I am happy that was slick. There we go. Let's look at that texture. Very different than before. Smooth. It's not trying to keep hold of those ridges and undulations and things like that. Uh, this still may be a little dry, but let's just shave with it and see. I'll know I can push it a lot harder with the water next time if uh, if this one goes well. So now a little water on my face. And this mild setting on this razor. It's still not going to have a problem knocking down a day and a half of growth, I tell you that. Alright, let's see how this soap and brush feels. The knot is, is staying kind of dense. Not really wanting to splay very much. But it's nice. It's, it's, it's a scrubby. No scratch at all. Kind of usually don't, aren't going to get that from a, from a badger. Usually. comfortable I think uh, if you're looking for a, a soft scrub but like I said these tips can change a lot in a few a few shaves and see it's dripping down my fingers there it's a good sign change to the painting motions This is a little bit too dry.
This is a nice lather. The creaminess. about this so my first impression here is I expected it to when I saw those micro bubbles especially I thought it might be a repeat of the black ship grooming and the chiseled face have those micro bubbles and and they lay down an adequate enough layer on your face uh, but the foaminess on top just isn't it isn't fun um, it's just too airy well not not the case here This blade is cutting nicely. Nice, consistent cut. Very good, very good. Getting good slickness from the soap. smell is just that kind of an easy going lavender very pretty light good there we go all right rinse it off all right pretty good feel in the rinse not super luxurious oh you know what let me go ahead and add a little bit more water almost six teaspoons of the water here I do smell a few little extra herbs in there it's nice If you want a two-band badger with a lot of uh, backbone and scrub, this is a pretty good option. I've definitely used other two-bands that had more backbone, but I've also used uh, some that had less, and I prefer those. My Macedo two-band, for instance, has less. This is a really slick soap. Now, I've read a couple of times that there is some, uh, that this soap might be outsourced or, or maybe the Salter company is actually the maker of another famous soap, you know, private label kind of scenario. I think somebody may have mentioned uh, True Fit and Hill. But I've tried True Fit and Hill once. And it's slickness. It does not compare to this one, in my opinion. But I just used it once, so. You know, take that for what it's worth. This is a slicker, nicer soap. Very nice. I wouldn't have a problem shaving with this soap all the time. Just an easy going traditional scent, but excellent performance. And rinse.
All right, third pass. So 50 seconds of loading on that soaked puck. And I have lots of lather. I probably got four passes left. Oh, sliced a little bit right there. Didn't even feel it. So we'll see if this uh, badger opens up with a little more use. My sterling finest badger did, but I had to mount it at the topmost loft, the highest loft I could to help that. With this one, I don't really have that option. Plus, I want to try to steam the knot out. So who is this soap going to be for? Well, I mean, by the time you pay shipping, if you're somebody in the U.S., then it's going to cost the same as some of its competitors are some other high-performing soaps that, that also smell good. But if you manage to get it with really low shipping or free shipping, something like that, then um, I think this is just one of the best low-cost performance soaps out there. And for a couple couple dollars less, you can get like a 70 gram or some kind of smaller denomination of soap. It's going to last you a long time. You know, I'm probably thinking a couple of years. For me at least, it probably lasts me a few years. Yeah, a little bump right there. I nicked. Comfort today is terrific. This is the best this... Uh, this little razor has shaved me. I think maybe that uh, that Astra just had to work itself in one or two shaves, uh, and now it's smoothed itself out a little bit. All right, let's rinse. Well, I'm very pleased with that shave. The brush, maybe not so much. I hope that it opens up a little bit more with some more uses, but everything else was just terrific. Uh, and so the, uh, the soap is slick. I'm, I'm a big fan. They have cream. Uh, Salter does also make a cream. I've got enough in here still to do another three pass shave, that's for sure. Probably four passes, like I said. Look at that nice elasticity. That's what we want to see right there. And the slickness, guys, this is just buttery slick. That's my kind of slickness. This, I mean, to me, this feels top tier in terms of slickness. I mean, that is good stuff. It's nuts. So if you want inexpensive... All right, so uh, I've had a few minutes to deal with something, and that's kind of cool because I've managed to feel what the post-shave properties of this soap are, and I, I could walk away without a post-shave balm or anything. Now, that little guy right here, the little cut, he's kind of bleeding still. Uh, a lot of times I'll just wipe it away, and, and that's all that does. Well, this guy is uh, apparently big enough to bother me a little bit. I'll take my alum block. Rub it on there. And that should fix it. Um, alum is nice for... Um, the only thing I use it for is cuts. And it's some, good for small cuts. Because it doesn't sting like the styptic pencil does. 
uh, but bigger cuts, you've got to use the styptic, styptic pencil. Also, it's important to rinse the alum away in just a minute or two uh, and dry off your puck here, dry off your block uh, before putting it away. It is a salt, and so as you would imagine, salt dissolves in water, so don't let it sit in water. I haven't used that alum block in like six months. Yep, looks like it did a nice job on that little guy. So in a minute, I'll rinse that away. Man, that lather was terrific. Slick and creamy. So you could uh, you could mix it a little thick if you wanted to. You could thin it down probably. I bet it'll hold a lot of water. I'm impressed. Um, so I was saying, who is this soap good for? Um, anybody who, who's on a budget and just needs a, a nice smelling soap. It's, like I said, it's just kind of a gentle lavender scent. Uh, with some herbs thrown in for interest and uh, it's a traditional shaving scent for sure and so there is a connection with uh, you know the past that the soap can help you get to but the performance was terrific and for just a few bucks um, uh, to me it performs just as well as Arco which is well known for its performance but it doesn't have that lemony industrial scent so if you like Arco's performance, but you don't like the scent, this salt or hard puck might be a way to go. Um, you're a college student, really need to pinch those pennies. This is a soap that's going to last you a really long time and give you great performance. Um, the only thing is uh, the shipping to get to you. So maybe if you've got it as a part of an existing order, you know, and so then the shipping's to fight it out a little bit, you know, then I think it's probably a great way to go. Um, if you have to just pay for the soap and the shipping, it's possible that other soaps might be uh, better for you. Like a fine accoutrements, um, uh, you know, might be a good one. But they're $12 and something for a puck. Uh, actually, they're discontinuing those, uh, just the puck itself. And they're, uh, I think it's $16 for the plastic tub. So that's more along the line with the other soaps. But uh, yeah, I wonder what kind of inexpensive options there are out there. Uh, Haslinger has a little small hard pucks uh, and the performance is really good with that but the scent is very light but the scent is also very light so that might be a competitor it's good soap guys wow I just kind of felt like some uh, Tuscany today I think this is violet and bergamot bergamot comes from citrus like an orange tree or something there's some kind of extract or something like that bitter from the bitter leaves or you know something like that often it just kind of reflects as a nice orange orange or bitter orange scent but when you combine it with violet apparently or whatever floral is in this thing to me it smells like wild cherries it's got some spices in there too Yep, that alum stopped the bleeding nicely. So here's that brush. Stropped him on a towel. You're definitely going to expect some hairs. Holy cow, how long is that? Oh, it must have been curled up in there. Um, you expect some hairs to come out. It's okay. You don't want to pay somebody to brush it and get all the hairs out. So how about you do it yourself? Just use it when hairs come out and just throw them away. I am not concer concerned with shedding until like I've used it about 50 times because they're just in there and they'll, they'll come out. A lot of people, you know, if it starts shedding at all, you know, they brag about how the brushes never shed a hair or something like that. I, I just don't care about that at all. All right, so the knot looks nice. Pretty dense, right? So here's the handle. Uh, you can feel the changes in the colors, you know, the layers of different color acrylic or what, polyester or whatever they used. Um, but you, you, you don't really notice it too much uh, while you're shaving. Um, I think if you, certain ones, if you got underneath it and picked at it, you could probably raise up something that could bother you. But I think under normal use, you're not going to have a problem. But I like this shape. I've got big hands. I enjoy using this shape. So I got an excellent shave. This little guy um, may be on his mildest setting, but the exposure here is enough that um, 
it uh, took care of business without a problem at all. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind actually if I could get it to go a little milder. I tried to adjust um, the, when you unscrew the, the knob here, this handle actually turns and I tried to uh, uh, adjust it right, like to have it open to the, the mildest setting or the most extreme setting and then screw the handle in and that's where it stops, you know, and that's so I thought that would give me the biggest uh, amount of leeway um, and I, so I don't think I'm going to be able to go any milder but um, I'll try different blades on it we'll see how it goes this uh, platinum here from Astra is a great blade for me in so many razors so I'm not surprised that it worked out really nicely in this one um, and it wasn't too much it wasn't too much harshness uh, it was a nice easy going shave um, I've used that word so many times I'm sorry but uh, I could feel the blade a little bit I could feel that uh, that the little bit of the tension to where maybe if I, I could possibly slice something, you know, maybe, but it was a good shave. It felt good. It felt pretty, you know, fairly consistent. Nice comfort. Don't have, didn't have any razor, sorry, razor rash or anything like that. And I got a nice cut right here. Uh, nice close cut right there. So we're good there. All right, well, I'm enjoying the Tuscany, kind of hanging around my face a little bit, and uh, really happy with today's shave. The razor, and especially the soap, man, that really surprised me. So now there are some guys uh, on the forums, and I'm recalling some of their messages about how, how they just really enjoy it, uh, and I can see why, definitely see why. And what's crazy about it is the price that you would pay for it that performance you're going to see in other soaps but those soaps are going to cost 13 12 uh 15 18 dollars whereas this guy like more like five or six i think so um, remarkable now how does this one compare to like an arco stick or the uh, like a derby stick or something like that i think that are those 90 grams i can't remember uh let me go look all right so here's the arco stick price wise this is probably the better deal because it is 75 grams and the um, salter i just used was 100. Uh, of course what really matters is how many shaves you can get out of it but i bet it's kind of comparable um, although i don't think the arco is a triple milk because you can actually squeeze this with your fingers and press it into a uh, uh, a bowl or whatever and with a truly triple milled hard soap you can't do that so it's possible the salter could give you more uses but um uh, yeah pretty sure uh so i i was gonna recommend maybe a, a price comparison there but I, I don't think i can since this is not a, a triple milled soap so uh so the salter wow um for about five or six bucks you could have a few couple of years worth of shaves it looks like um, with a nice, easy-going, pleasant lavender, gentle lavender and herb scent. Lavender being a little bit stronger than the herbs, for sure. All right, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else to uh, to report. I'm looking forward to seeing how this brush. Uh, it was very stiff the first when I took a, a bar soap and I worked it. Very stiff at first. Um, but the the tips and stuff just took a little while to uh, to hydrate and then get in their normal state, uh, maybe out of the factory state, you know, whatever things were put on them there, whatever hardness or crispiness there was to it, that, that went away. Uh, so now I'm just dealing with the backbone. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the tips. Uh, Quality-wise, I have noticed a few places where there are some dark fibers coming up through to the top and so those are going to offer a little bit of prickle but they're not too many of them and so I could see myself if I kept this knot just kind of weeding through grabbing them and clipping them down as low as I could just to help with the comfort and fine-tune the knot a little bit so I'm really happy with the handle I know that I've got a good handle no matter what happens and I think a lot of people would probably like this knot uh, especially people who like a little bit more uh, backbone and uh, we'll just see if it relaxes over a few uses. All right, well, hey, I hope there's been something good for you in this shave. Thanks for watching. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care.